Hi, today is something I promised you a few weeks ago, how to make a super simple and very efficient and very cool, the 868 MHz dipole antenna for R9 Slim or uh, R9 Mini, MM, Slim Plus, never mind. The only difference between Slims and Minis will be the one element and to be very precise this element, the connector, uh, the connector you will have to get because for the Slims you have to get UFL IPEX, but for Mini and MM you have to get the IPEX4, which is just smaller. But besides that, everything is exactly the same. So, let's begin. First thing first, you need this. This is a Depot, uh, not the Depot, this is a Pigtail, this is the IPEX Pigtail. I got all the 2.4 GHz antenna for the uh, two, um, for the Ever Sky Radio. It's not really important. Get yourself to the AliExpress or any other platform and get yourself like 20 of those for like five dollars, maybe slightly more expensive. Like I said, this is IPEX uh, UFL, so I will be making the antenna for the uh, Ryan Slims. Step one. Measure 11 centimeters and cut. This will be our pigtail. Uh, you can, instead of 11, use 22 centimeters. It's up to you. Next step is, let me zoom in. No zoom is this side, okay. Next step, we have to remove some of the isolation from the end of the Pigtail like five millimeters. Remove the shielding and move it to one side, like this, for example. You don't have to be perfect with this, it's just enough to be good enough, like this. And step two remove some of the internal. Can I zoom in more? Oh, that's all of the zoom. And remove some of the isolation of the hot element of the Step cards. two. 0 0.8 millimeters welding, copper welding my wire. Measure two pieces of the wire, each of them with a length of exactly 8 centimeters. One and uh, two. You do not have to be very, very precise. I have two pieces of wire, each of them at eight centimeters. This one is slightly longer, so I'm gonna just cut it and make it slightly shorter. Some kind of the holder. Let's put our pigtail into it holder, clamp, soldering iron and put a small drop of solder on both the shield and the hot element of the pigtail. Next, move the shielding away so that the hot element and the shield are more or less at 90 degrees. Zoom, do something like this. Next step, we will have to solder copper wire to the pigtail, so Hot element done and the counterweight on the other side done. Antenna is almost ready. And but we want to make it a good antenna, so now I'm gonna take a slightly some epoxy glue. Prepare a drop of epoxy glue and I will protect the central area over here so that the 
antenna will not fall apart on the first crash or something like that. Put the epoxy on the middle of our antenna so when the epoxy will cure it will not easily fall apart just like this it does not have to be perfect it just has to be there wait for the epoxy to cure and I will be back with you in a few minutes a few minutes later when the epoxy glue mostly cured put both sides of the antenna into the heat shrink active part passive part cut it to the length plus extra element from heat shrink to the center like this heat gun or lighter or whatever and shrink the heat shrink antenna is done that's all that's all what you need this is uh, I won't say perfectly tuned but pretty well tuned 868 megahertz antenna I have my trusty VSWR matter let me put together my super awesome converter and let's measure the VSWR of this antenna it won't be perfect it won't it will be probably slightly shifted but nevertheless working you see center tune at more or less 861 megahertz down to 840 vsw were still below 1.5 so very nice and on the higher side of the band up to 877 still around 1.5 vsw were simple i hope so it's really not that difficult to make a relatively decent relatively widely wide tuned dipole antenna for the n9 this one will go on one of my planes probably probably i will put it on my mini drag perfect 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 that's all for today until the next one bye bye oh one more thing if you want to make the same antenna tuned for fcc 915 megahertz make the copper wire only 75 millimeters long not 80 but 75 and as a result i can show you that the antenna will be pretty nicely tuned for the 915 megahertz just like that and this time it's really all for today ciao